Excuse me, ma'am. Can I get by? Sure. Sorry for being in the way. Those look like heavy trays. How do you carry so much without dropping it? You must be exhausted by the end of the day when the ship's so busy. <laughs> it takes practice. You need quite strong arms. But the most important thing is to keep your balance, especially when the sea's a bit choppy. Any more bets? Twenty-five dollars on black twenty-four. Thank you, sir. Twenty red. Better luck next time, sir. How was your day, Kathy? Not too bad. Glad it's over with, though. Why? Were you very busy? Not really. Just had a hard time with my boss. Working at sea certainly has its challenges. Maybe your boss was tired. Did you come back in twenty minutes? We're still getting ready. Certainly. Sorry to disturb you. By the way, what time do you stop serving breakfast? It finishes at ten thirty, so you've got fifteen minutes left. But if you don't want to rush, you can ask for room service. They actually do an all-day breakfast menu. This is Mrs. Stone in room four three seven. We have a big problem with this cabin and need to change. The one we're in stinks of stale cigarette smoke. Our clothes hanging in the closet all smell of smoke now. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll send the steward up to you right away, and we'll see what we can do. I hope you're all enjoying your cruise and our splendid facilities on board. Unfortunately, due to industrial action by our workers at the next scheduled port of call, we'll have to change our itinerary a little. We'll now be sailing to a port 100 kilometers further up the coast. Some good news: the current rough seas should soon subside. And we've managed to repair the problem we had with the engine, so it's full steam ahead. Good morning. Hope you're enjoying your cruise. Please let us know if there's anything we can do to enhance your cruise experience. We're expecting some very nice weather over the next 24 hours, with temperatures reaching a maximum of 26 this afternoon and dropping to a very pleasant 24 degrees tonight. Please remember to take care during the hottest part of the day, from 1 to 3, when the sun is at its strongest. Also, please don't forget that at 2300 hours, we'll be starting our midnight ball in the Victoria Lounge. Could the coach wait for a couple more minutes, please? My husband isn't here yet. Yes, madam, but we are running to a tight schedule. The other guests are growing tired of waiting. I think he's got lost. No, it's okay. Here he comes now. I'm sorry, but he's a little slow. He is 88 after all. Okay. Next stop, the Natural History Museum. It's much too warm and stuffy in this cabin. I can't breathe properly. There must be something wrong with the ventilation system. Let me check for you, madam. Ah, yes. You have the air conditioning set at a high temperature, so it's blowing hot air instead of cold. I'll set it at a more comfortable temperature for you. 24 degrees should be about right. Oh, yes, that's much better, thanks. I thought the ventilation system had broken down. What are the rules about uniform? Sorry, sir. Why are you wearing beige trousers? It's black before 11 a.m. and white after 11 a.m. Sorry, sir. I've only just joined the ship, and I'm still waiting for my trousers. We'll sort that out right away. And you'll need to iron these brown trousers on the rail again. They've still got creases in them. It's not good enough. We have high standards on this ship. The afternoon tea looks delicious, but I'm afraid I'm not that easy to feed. Don't worry, madam. We cater for all types of food intolerance. Well, for a start, I don't like nuts. They stick in my teeth. In that case, can I recommend the biscuits, as they're all nut-free? I'm also gluten intolerant. In that case, I'd avoid the bread. But the cakes are all gluten-free. And I don't eat meat. 
I'm not really a vegetarian, but I just don't like meat. You never know where it comes from. Oh, that's not a problem. We have a large selection of vegetarian savory pastries. In that case, I'll start loading my plate. Mmm, yummy. Can you seat me at a different table tonight? Last night, it was truly dreadful. Do you know what they were talking about on my table? Well, I'll tell you. They were talking about their golf handicaps. So utterly boring. Oh, dear. Which table was that, ma'am? It was table 31. I simply refused to sit there again tonight. Well, we have a free seat on table 13. Which one is that? It's that one over there. With all those women? Absolutely not. I don't want to sit with a crowd of women. I want to sit with men, and preferably rich single men. What about that table over there? Number 21. It's all men. I think they need a lady to join them, don't you? I'm not sure about that, ma'am. They are all on the cruise with their male partners. Ugh, typical. Don't worry, ma'am. Tomorrow night, I'll make sure you sit at the captain's table. That's number 12. Is he single? He is recently divorced, I believe. Perfect. Excuse me, is this supposed to be the spicy chicken I ordered? Yes, sir. Well, it's not very spicy and it's much too salty. I can't eat it. I do apologize. I could replace it with the chili beef dish? No, thank you. I'm Hindu, so I don't eat beef. Oh, sorry, sir. In that case, may I recommend the Sichuan pork belly dish? That's the hottest dish on the menu. Actually, I really fancy a lamb and cauliflower curry. I had it the other night and I really liked it. I'm really sorry, but I'm afraid that's not on the menu tonight. I suppose I'll have to make do with the pork. I'm glad this cruise is coming to an end. Why? I've just weighed myself, and I put on 7 kilos. I now weigh 97 kilos. When I started this cruise, I was only 90. That's not so bad. When I first met you, you weighed 107 kilos. Well, how much do you weigh now? I'm 87 kilos. I've been the same weight since I was 17. Could you dry clean this suit for me in time for Wednesday's banquet? I hope it's not too late. No problem, sir. If you give it to me now, the laundry room will be able to do it on Monday, and I'll get it back to you first thing on Tuesday. Great. I don't believe it. It's pouring. I could have stayed at home in England if I wanted rain. Don't worry, madam. It's just a short tropical shower. The sun will be out again within the hour. It rarely rains all day at this time of year. That's a relief. My mother and I would like to take a trip to see the fjords when we get to Bergen, but aren't sure which one to take. Although she enjoys walking, she's recovering from a broken ankle and can't walk very far. In that case, I suggest you opt for tour A or tour D, madam. They're both coach and ferry tours which take in the fjords, but involve very little walking. They're very popular with the elderly guests. Switchboard, can I help you? Just a quick question. Uh, what's the local time here? Is it 1 p.m.? No, sir. We have just crossed the time zone, so it's Greenwich Mean Time plus 2. That would make it 3 p.m. Thank you. Glad I checked. What time does the presentation on Cape Town start? At 8 p.m., sir, in the Blue Lounge. Seating is on a first-come, first-served basis. Oh, that's too bad. I have an appointment with my personal trainer in the gym at that time, and I really don't want to cancel it. I've been a bit lazy recently, and I'm starting to feel very unfit. I need a good workout. Well, sir, you can always watch it on your in-cabin entertainment program. Yeah, that's a good idea. This is Mrs. Stone in room 437. We have a big problem with this cabin and need to change. The one we're in stinks of stale cigarette smoke. Our clothes hang in the closet all smell of smoke now. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll send the steward up to you right away and we'll see what we can do. We've been given the late sitting for dinner at 8.30 p.m. I specifically asked for the early one at 6.30 p.m. I'll just check for you, madam. 
Ah, uh, yes, I'm afraid all the places for the first sitting had already been taken by the time you booked. We get a lot of people who want to eat at that time, and it gets very busy. You see, we have a lot of elderly people on this cruise who like to go to bed early. But my husband is a diabetic and needs to stick to regular meal times. 8.30 p.m. is far too late. Yes, madam, I do understand. May I suggest that you use the buffet dining facilities in the Crimson Dining Room? That way you can eat at any time you like between 5.30 p.m. and 10.30 p.m. and you don't have to book in advance. So the bus departs from the quayside at 9.30 a.m. and arrives back in the evening at 6 p.m.? Is that right? Yes, madam. There are five buses and the last one leaves at 9.30 a.m. Buses depart approximately every seven minutes as they fill up. And is my reservation for a seat on a particular bus? No, no, madam. You can get on any of the buses in the morning, but you must stay on the same bus for the duration of the excursion. If you want a particular seat, it would be a good idea to get there early. Oh, good. The bags are already here. You mean bag, don't you? There's only one of them. How many should we have? There should be three. Where are the other two? Uh, I think that might be my fault. I was carrying them just before I left the house, and then my cell phone rang. I remember putting them down in the hall while I answered my phone. I must have left them behind. Great. They've got all my swimwear and leisure wear, and I'll just have to buy some more on board, won't I? They'll cost a fortune on this ship. This cruise is already costing us a lot of money. Oh, stop being so stingy. It's your fault, so deal with it. There are so many remote controls in this room. I don't understand what does what. I mean, what does that black remote do? That one is for the blinds, ma'am. Okay, so what about that gray one? Uh, that's for the TV, ma'am. And that white one? That controls the lamps, ma'am. So what does that silver one do? Um, that's for the air conditioning. Goodness gracious, I really don't understand why there have to be so many remote controls in this room. Well, this is the luxury suite, ma'am. So it has all these extras. Well, if I'd known that, I'd have gone for a basic cabin. I hate remote controls. It's technology gone mad. I'm glad this cruise is coming to an end. Why? I've just weighed myself, and I put on 7 kilos. I now weigh 97 kilos. When I started this cruise, I was only 90. That's not so bad. When I first met you, you weighed 107 kilos. Well, how much do you weigh now? I'm 87 kilos. I've been the same weight since I was 17. I'm tired of eating and drinking in bars on this ship. Let's do something different tonight. Okay, well, there's a famous jazz band from New Orleans playing in the lounge. I don't really fancy that. They usually play boring old songs from the 1920s. Well, what about the South American dance troupe? Their Argentinian tango is meant to be spectacular. I quite like the sound of that. But if it's very popular and you've got a book in advance, I'm sure there won't be any seats left for tonight. Why don't we go and see that famous American magician? No, I saw him before he was famous, and I really don't want to see him again. Well, that leaves us with the British comedian who won Britain's Got Talent. Definitely not. I really don't get British humor. I can't stand comedians, and I don't like him at all. He's the worst to act on board. And besides, you know I'm terrified of clowns. Well, in that case, it's another night in the bar, isn't it, darling? There are so many different nationalities working on this cruise ship. What nationality are they in housekeeping? Well, the majority are from Indonesia. In the galley, most of the cooks seem to be Filipinos. I believe they recruited most of the waiting staff from India. I went to reception and it seems to be mainly Chinese running the desk.